Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little blanket using the bean stitch. It's a very easy stitch, so I hope you like it. Now, you can use any hook size with any yarn to make this baby blanket, and you can make it smaller or bigger. At the end of the tutorial, I give you the finished measurements, so be sure to check that out. Also, down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some links to tutorials that I already have in my channel where I have made items using this stitch. I have some baby booties, baby jackets, and baby pants that you can make to match this baby blanket. I will also leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching! Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this medium number four yarn. To make this little blanket, you can use any yarn with any hook size. Just make sure to use the recommended hook size for the yarn that you're going to use. So you can use a lighter yarn or a thicker yarn. That would be up to you. So like I said, I'm using this medium number four yarn. Now, to begin, I have 113 chains. The stitch multiple to this chain is multiples of three plus two. Okay, so to begin on the second chain from the hook, one, two, right here, I'm going to make a single crochet. For this first row, all I'm going to do is just single crochets on each one of the chains so that at the end of this first row, I have a total of 112 single crochets. So continue, finish this first row, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did single crochets. I have a total of 112 single crochets. So now here to continue, I'm going to chain one and turn. Now on top of this first single crochet right here, make a single crochet. Now the stitch that I'm going to use for this blanket is going to be a variation of the bean stitch. So here on the third single crochet, Counting here from the beginning, one, two, three, on the third single crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. I have seven loops on the hook, two, four, six, seven. Make sure that these loops are nice and loose so that they're nice and fluffy and they're easier to close. Just like I did here, I grabbed a loop and closed. Now here we're going to chain three, so that's two and three. And into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now skip one, two, and into this third single crochet again, yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. Seven loops on the hook, close, chain three and then a single crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, seven loops on the hook, close, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch. One more time, yarn over, skip one, two, and into the third, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch. And this is all we're going to do for this second row and that's what it looks like. The important thing here is make sure that when you do these bean stitches, they're nice and loose so that you don't have a hard time going through all of the loops. Okay, so continue, let's finish this second row and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 37 bean stitches. I did my last bean stitch, three chains, and a single crochet into this single crochet. I still have one last single crochet, so into this single crochet, I'm going to make a single crochet right on top. Now, for the third row, chain two and turn. Now, this third row is the row that we're always going to repeat from here on. We're going to work bean stitches into the chain three space of each one of your bean stitches from the previous row. So you're going to yarn over, so right here, insert your hook, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, seven loops on the hook, close, chain three, and then again, a single crochet. 
again we have the next bean stitch and we have this chain three space you're going to yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop seven loops close chain three single crochet into the same space here one more time you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the chain three space grab a loop yarn over grab a loop seven loops close chain three single crochet one more time yarn over into the chain three space of the next bean stitch grab a loop yarn over grab a loop yarn over seven loops close chain three single crochet this is all we're going to do for the rest of this third row so continue and i will meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 37 bean stitches. From here on, we're always going to have 37 bean stitches. I did my last bean stitch here and I have a single crochet here at the end. To finish this row, we're just going to make a double crochet here at the end. And this is how I finish this third row. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now, what we're going to do here is the same thing we did in the third row. Inside each one of the chain three spaces, we're going to make bean stitches. So yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, seven loops, close, chain three, and then a single crochet. One more time into the next chain three space, make another bean stitch, seven loops close chain three single crochet continue like this to the end of this fourth row and let me you at the end to show you how to finish and how to start each row from here on i'm here at the end of this fourth row i have a total of 37 bean stitches like i said from here on we're always going to have 37 bean stitches now to finish each row from here on all you're going to do is we have the two chains here at the beginning all you're going to do is go into the second chain and make a double crochet and this is how i finish the fourth row now for the fifth row or to start every row from here on you just chain two and turn and into each one of the chain three spaces you're going to do your bean stitch so yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop seven loops close chain three single crochet into the same space one more time yarn over into the next chain three space another bean stitch and that's all you're going to do for the rest of this row and until you have the size that you want your baby blanket to be and that's all that's what it looks like here at the end when you finish this row remember you're going to go into the second chain and make a double crochet chain two turn and then repeat and do the same thing now i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do for my baby blanket continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i'll meet you at the end of that row okay i did a total of 74 rows here for my baby blanket it's measuring without stretching or anything it's measuring about 92 centimeters which is about 36.25 inches um, long and then it's measuring the same for the width 92 centimeters which is about 36.25 inches now if you want to make more rows and make it longer you can or if you want to make it wider this baby blanket here is not going to be too big just continue watching i'll give you the final measurement once the baby blanket is done and i'll go ahead and measure the border um, once it's done now what we're going to do here along the edge is we're going to make single crochets now there is no right or wrong way of doing this part here the important thing is that you have the same number of single crochets along this side you make here along this other side and the same thing for the top the same number of single crochets that you make for the top you're going to have here for the bottom so here to begin what we're going to do here is i'm going to chain one and here i have this last double crochet this is where i finished this row 74. now into this row i'm going to make two single crochets into the next row this is where we did two chains i'm going to make one single crochet into the next row make two into the next row make one 
into the next row make two single crochets and into the next one this is how you're going to continue two one two one until you come here to the first corner i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these single crochets along this side here's the first corner up to here this is the row of single crochets i have 112 single crochets into this last row here of single crochets i only did one single crochet now we have the corner here into this corner right here this is one of the chains i'm going to make four single crochets so in each one of the corners we're going to always make four single crochets three four now what we're going to do here along the bottom is just make single crochet so the easiest way here is just to make one single crochet for each one of these chains here like this now continue and I'll meet you here at this other end this is going to be the second corner to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making single crochets here along the bottom part i have a total of 110 single crochets now here's the second corner into this space here i'm going to make four single crochets it's two three four now what we're going to do next is we're going to work our way up here along this side along this side i'm going to try to have the same number of single crochets as i did on the other side which was 112 single crochets so here to begin we have this next row here so into this row i'm going to make one single crochet then into this next row make two single crochets then one and then two one and then two continue like this until you come here to the third corner i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next i finished making single crochets along this other side here's the third corner now here at the end i was supposed to only make one single crochet here but i did two so that i can finish this side here with 112 single crochets now into this third corner right here we're going to make four single crochets that's one two three and four now along the top here what we're going to do is the following we have these three chains and then we have the single crochet that we did so we're going to do two single crochets into the chain three space one and two and right here where we have the single crochet either right on top or right in the middle here of the bean stitches i'm going to do it right here in the middle i'm going to make a single crochet and then again we have the chain three i'm going to make two single crochets here and right here into this space make one so two single crochets into this chain three space and then one right in the middle two one two one this is how i'm going to continue till i come here to the fourth corner i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making single crochets here along the top up to here i have 109 single crochets now my last single crochet i'm going to go here on top of this single crochet and now i have 110 single crochets along the top now this next space here i'm going to use as my fourth corner so into this fourth corner make four single crochets that's two three four now to finish this row go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished the first row now just to recap on each one of the corners you should have four single crochets along this side and the other side you should have 112 single crochets and along the top and the bottom you should have 110 single crochets now again there is no right or wrong way of doing this the important thing like i said was for you to have the same number 
number of stitches here along this side and along the other side and same for the top and the bottom you may have more rows you may have less it's okay this border can be worked on any blanket the important thing is that you have four single crochets on each corner now for the second row in this row this is going to be an easy row because all we're going to do here to begin is two chains and into this same stitch here we're going to make a double crochet double crochet into the next single crochet double crochet into the next and so on here i'm just going to make double crochets like this until i come here to the first corner i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next i finished making these double crochets along this side here here's the first corner now along this side i have a total of 112 double crochets now i have the next four single crochets which is this first corner here so what we're going to do is into the first and fourth single crochet you're going to make two double crochets into the second and the third you're going to make four double crochets on each one so that once we finish here this corner we're going to have 12 double crochets so let's get started so into the first single crochet of this corner make two double crochets into the second single crochet make four double crochets that's two three four into the third single crochet make four double crochets as well that's two three four and into the fourth single crochet here for this corner make two double crochets and here's the corner so make sure that you have 12 double crochets here and you're going to do the same thing for each corner now continue along the bottom here and work one double crochet for each one of these single crochets until you come to the second corner where you're going to do exactly the same thing that i just showed you here and the same thing for the third and fourth corner continue let's finish this second row and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did double crochets all around now on each one of the corners you should have 12 double crochets now to finish this row if you're not changing color this is what you're going to do go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now i'm going to be changing color i'm going to use this blue yarn here and then the next row i'm going to do white so blue white blue white so to do this I'm going to insert my hook on top of the first double crochet here put the white yarn like this on top of the hook now grab a loop here with this blue yarn and now bring both loops the white and the blue like this and make a slip stitch now with the blue yarn chain one and pull the white yarn so that this stitch here closes a bit and now what we're going to do here is we're going to alternate between front post and back post double crochets so beginning into the first double crochet which is the same one where we join with a slip stitch right here make a front post double crochet next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet back post double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet continue like this until you come here to the bottom where we have the first corner i will show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these double crochets here for this side now here's my first corner we have 12 double crochets here we're just going to continue in the same way this is a front post double crochet so the next one is a back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet and that's all i'm going to do here you just continue with the same thing you alternate between a front post and a back post double crochet there's nothing different here for the corners just continue in the same way
Okay, here's the last double crochet. And then the next one for this corner. And that's what the corner looks like. There it is. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing on each one of the corners. So continue. I'll meet you here at this end after we finish this last corner to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. Here's my fourth corner. Now here to finish, I have a front post double crochet here. Then I have the chains here in the middle and then I have the first front post double crochet. Now, if you notice, I have two front post double crochets here at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this chain space right here and I'm going to count this stitch here as a double crochet. So I'm going to finish with a back post double crochet here at the end. Now, if for some reason you end with a back post double crochet here, then it's okay. You don't have to do what I just did here. For some reason, I finished this row here with a front post. So I'm going to use this chain here as a stitch so that I can do my back post double crochet. And now I can finish this third row. So to finish, I'm going to grab both colors here, the white yarn that we left here waiting and the blue yarn. I'm going to go on top of the first double crochet right here, this first front post double crochet. I'm going to grab a loop here with both color and I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Now with the white yarn, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to pull the blue yarn here so that this stitch here closes. And now we're going to do the same thing. This first stitch here is a front post double crochet, so I'm going to make a front post double crochet. The next one is a back post, so make a back post double crochet. Front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and so on. This is all you're going to do all around for this fourth row just going to alternate between a front post and a back post double crochet here when you come to the corners same thing you're just going to continue and do the same thing on each one of the corners a front post and a back post double crochet now if you're not changing color then all you need to do is just join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch chain one and then do the front post and back post double crochets just like I did here now continue I will meet you at the end of this fourth row to show you once again how to finish each row from here on and how to start I'll meet you then okay I'm here at the end of the fourth row in this fourth row I did this row in white so now what I'm going to do to finish this row is I'm going to go on top of the first double crochet here insert my hook and I'm going to grab a loop with both colors here like this and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish this fourth row now i'm going to continue like this from here on it's just repeating this last row all around uh, alternating between a front post and a back post double crochet also continue watching you'll see the end result of my blanket i'm not sure if i like the two colors here um, i'm going to continue for a couple more rows if not then i'm just going to switch back to one color either the blue or the white continue watching you'll see exactly how i'm going to do my border but in the meantime we're going to continue like this alternating uh, both colors so my next color here would be the blue so grab the blue chain one pull the white here so that that stitch there closes and now with this blue yarn we're going to do the same thing this first stitch here is a front post double crochet so make a front post double crochet next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet next one back post double crochet and so on 
Now, this is going to be row five. Continue watching. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here. So continue like this. Alternate between a front post and a back post, double crochet, and alternate colors. If not, just join to the first stitch with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the border. I did a total of seven rows, including the row here of single crochets. So we have the row of single crochets, then we have the row of double crochets, and then we have the first row of front post and back post double crochets in blue and then I did four rows in white of front post and back post double crochets now the last row that I left you off what I believe was row five and I started that row initially with blue but then I decided to just continue with white so that's why I have these last four rows here in white and I think it looks better uh, the blue and white uh, I think was too busy so this one row here is absolutely perfect for me and I like the way that that it looks so now we're going to make one last row so this is going to be row eight so to do this here we're going to grab a loop here with this blue yarn we're going to go here on top of the first double crochet to finish row seven all I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop now here we're going to chain three and we're going to skip one double crochet and into the next we're going to make a slip stitch chain three skip one double crochet and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one double crochet and on top of the next make a slip stitch and this is all i'm going to do all around for this last row so row eight now continue like this finish this row here at the end you're just going to make a slip stitch to cut your yarn and pass your yarn through that last loop and then your border is going to be done so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you the finished border along with the finished baby blanket okay i finished making this last row here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and my border is done and this is what it looks like i absolutely love love this border it's very simple and easy to do and you can practically make it on any blanket if you like here in this corner i added this little bow you can also weave a ribbon here through the center of the rows or here in this blue light color that would be up to you so the little blanket is all done and that's what it looks like now let me give you the finished measurements now it's measuring 40.5 inches which is about 103 centimeters long and 38 inches which is about 96.5 centimeters wide so those are the finished measurements but you can make it smaller or bigger at the beginning of the tutorial i told you that the stitch multiple is multiples of three plus two so you can make it as big as you want or smaller you can also use any yarn any hook size uh, that would be up to you so here's the finished blanket Look how beautiful that stitch is. This is the bean stitch. I already have other tutorials where I use this stitch, like this little sweater right here, this one here. I made this little sweater using the bean stitch, and I also have a little jacket here for a newborn baby. I think this is zero to three months using the bean stitch as well. This one here has um, a pair of little pants. These here with footies. And I also have some baby booties using the same stitch, the bean stitch. I'll go ahead and leave all of these tutorials down here in the information box, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Okay, I went ahead and finished the last row here of chains. At the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop, and the border is all done, and that's what it looks like. Now, these are all the corners right there. Here's one, here's the one where we started, and here's the other one. In this corner here, I went ahead and added uh, some little bows here. You can also weave a ribbon here all around. That would be up to you. You can just do it here in between these rows of uh, in the white color or here at the beginning. That would be up to you. I only added these little bows here on one of the corners. You can do on all of the corners. That would be up to you. Now, 
and let me give you the finished measurements. It's measuring 40.5 inches, which is about 103 centimeters long, and it's about 38 inches or 96.5 centimeters wide. Now, you can also make the blanket smaller or bigger and use any hook size with any yarn. At the beginning of the tutorial, I let you know that the stitch multiple is multiples of three plus two, so that you can make your blanket any size. Now, I do have other tutorials where I have used the same stitch like these little pants here. I use the bean stitch and I have a little matching sweater here for baby and I also have this little sweater that I did using the bean stitch so you can coordinate any of these little set with the baby blanket that I just showed you and I also have some baby booties where I use the bean stitch as well. I'll go ahead and leave links to these tutorials down here in the information box so be sure to check that out. Okay so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.